so he can get in here. <coughs> Watch out, man. Oh. This thing just go forward. Just <coughs> Is it a mic stand? I don't know. I don't know. Right here. Stand deep. Stand up. Two words. Why we have come. And why you have invited all. I hope Guru Dev is going to accept my Pranam and Dandabad. So as all the devotees here, Prabhus and the Vaishnavas. More song coming. Hariba. Hariba. As this uh, wandering soul who had been roaming around for so long, for so many lifetimes, begging Guru Dev for his drop of mercy. As for many years ago, I had been. Uh, Begging Diksya from Guru Dev. From that time on, I have been having my <coughs> Maha Mantra every day, chanting every day. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, as also with my Gaya tree. As of today and now, we are having this uh, congregation. As I welcome you all, we come here together to ask a mercy from Guru Dev. Thank you. So I want to thank Radhesh for bringing us all here, Srila Gurudev here, for this program, so that we can all have satsanga, that's holy association. As we all know in this age, this is the only hope for getting out of this dark well of material existence. Alone we're not strong enough that with the strength of Srila Gurudev and the assembled Vaishnavs, we pray that we'll have the strength to make it out of this world and back into the arms of Bhagwan Sri Krishna, Sri Ra under the care and guidance of Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Gurudev, into the Gana of Sri Mati Lalita, under the care and guidance of Sri Bishaka and their Gana. And this is the goal that we're aiming for. <coughs> and that's why we're here today to try and somehow or another make another step forward in our advancement towards this inevitable goal. And uh, I know Radesh was a little bit speechless, but uh, myself also. But I just hope that everything will go nicely and that we can somehow or another fix our mind on the lotus feet of Srila Gurudev, Sri Krishna, Srimadhi Radhika, and all their associates. And by hearing this Harinam, I'm sure we'll all make some advancement when you go back to your homes, you can tell your friends about this program, and next time 
there should be at least three or four times more people here because it's a very rare opportunity actually you're all very very fortunate people even though Philippines may be a poor country or some may think poor but actually we see cows running around here and coconuts everywhere Will and he speak waterfalls something? very yes. beautiful Krishna is giving all resources actually the only poverty is in the heart the poverty is not being able to take shelter of the Vaishnavas and taking <coughs> shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. That's the real poverty. Other than that, there is no poverty here that we can see. Actually, this is a very opulent country, and everything is here. It's just like a little India. Uh, we see uh, kunja berries, <laughs> coconuts, mangoes. Srila Prabhupada said all the articles for sacrifice are here. Srila Prabhupada was very much impressed with the Philippines. That's what he called it, the Philippines. <coughs> and he was very much eager that we have a center here and that the devotees, he said, who were so much eager to chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare, Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And he told me 22 years ago that our main program should be chanting, dancing, and feasting. Actually, 32 years ago. So Srila Gurudev has come here to empower us to do this. And if we take shelter of his feet, have as much faith in Guru as, as we have faith in God, if that faith is equal, not one more than any other than the other, then all the truths of the Vedas will be revealed to us, and then we can actually become empowered and do something towards spreading Mahaprabhu's movement. So I hope everyone can enjoy the festival here and that somehow or another we can become a little more determined, a little more serious to spread this message of Mahaprabhu all over the Philippines and then all over the world. Thank you. Thank you, Shuli. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to offer my Dandabad pranams to the Lotus Feet of Srila Gurudev and offer my Dandabad pranams to all uh, Vaisnavs and Vaisnavis, to Prabhupada's disciples. Mukam karuti ba chalam pangam nang kaya tigirim patkipatam aham bande shigurum dinataranam. So we are gathering in this uh, festival. Uh, many devotees are uh, taking initiation from Srila Gurudev by telephone and uh, some have taken Harinam and Diksha and they have not met Srila Gurudev uh, before. So for the first time, they are able to have Darshan, Srila Gurudev, who is a pure devotee. And uh, in scripture, it is said that uh, <clears throat> Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastrahoi, Lava Mata, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhihoi. That when we are trying to make attempting to make advancements for the life, it is very important that we got the association of a sadhu or saintly person. Even a small amount of association, if lava matra, means a small amount, a fraction of, of a moment association with the sadhu, we can make perfection in our spiritual life. Because we are wandering this material world for many lifetimes. And when we come in touch with a pure devotee who is representing Radha and Krishna, our life will change. The cycle of birth and death will uh, change its course. We're going to change our direction, going back to the spiritual world. So this moment of gathering is not an ordinary gathering, but it is the most important gathering we can have in our life. And we are very fortunate and very, very happy that Srila Gurev is giving his time to us. Even though there are so many devotees from around the world, uh, inviting and asking Brajana Prabhu to, to, to ask Gurudev to come to their place. And some or other, by Tamupas uh, kindness, he was able to bring Gurudev here. Yeah. And Anuradesh Prabhu has given us a nice facility. And Gurudev is giving us his uh, three days or association that is very, very important in our life. Yeah. And it will surcharge us. Not only in this life, but in our next life, we may not we may not feel that this time, but for sure, this charge that we have in contact with Gurudev, it is a very very uh, important and a very uh, 
historical thing in our in our in our existence in this material world. Thank you very much, Rai Krishna. Gurave Gora Chandraya Radhikaya Tadare Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namada. So I'm also feeling very fortunate that I'm able to come here in the presence of Srila Gurudev and all you devotees who are attempting to dedicate your lives to the propagation of the holy name of Krishna and be an instrument for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to deliver the fallen souls of Kali Yoga. I feel I've only been here approximately five days coming from India and uh, I'm quite impressed by the people here that I see that their mood is generally not uh, asuric, the maniac, the have a more submissive attitude to hear uh, about uh, philosophy and spiritual life than almost any place that I have not been all over the world, but at least I can speak for, like I'm in America or such countries, <coughs> people have a very high degree of arrogance and uh, concede that it's, that it's very hard to be proud, uh, humble for those, you know, Krishna is the property of those who are materially dispossessed. So if someone has that <coughs> opulence in their life, a poverty in one sense, it's, a, it's an opulence because that one can, uh, has more freedom of, of consciousness to think about the real meaning of life and so now I hope by greatest blessings I can stay here and tentatively planning to stay here for some time and speak about Krishna Bhakti whoever can uh, hear from me I'm not very qualified but it's, uh, as uh, the dumb man can speak poetry, the uh, <coughs> lame can cross over mountains, so I'm definitely in that category. <laughs> so thank you for sharing with me. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you Namo Vishnu Padaya Radikaya Priyatmane Shashimad Bhakti Vidanta Narayan Itinamini Yasya Devi Para Bhakti Yata Devi Tatagro Tasyaiti Kaitita Yarta Prakashanti Mahatmana He said that the spiritual master you know um, is the one that brings the seed in the heart of those spirit souls that have been traveling you know from life after life. Actually, ako natutuwa ako dahil nakikita ko ang mga devotee ngayon. Actually, most of them, maski si Bakta Elmer, nasa na ba si Bakta Elmer? You know? So many devotees na nung unang makita ko, ay mga Bakta ko pa lamang, may mga ibang devotees na after some time, ngayon, kagaya ni, you know, one of our very good uh, Sankirtan devotee, although uh, may nangyari sa'yo, but still, you are now in our family. That uh, somehow I'm so happy that uh, when Srila Gurudev arrived here, he's uh, saying, where are the devotees? Where are the devotees? In my heart, I was really crying that, um, number one, I was praying that how I wish when uh, when Gu uh, the Gurudev first arrived here, there were, we don't have so much facilities. I was praying that somehow, I, how I hope that there should be a rich person who will take care of Gurudev to give him good facilities. Because I have seen how he is taken care in other countries. But we are so poor. But somehow Krishna is so kind that in the presence of Tamu Pahaprabhu, we were able to have not only first class uh, facilities, but super, super 
Radesh. Uh, so we want to thank uh, that for uh, his uh, nice uh, help. And also this place where we went there, here before, and when I heard that, oh, we're going to have festival in Radesh place, I said, my goodness, that's a terrible place. I don't want to go there. <laughs> but then, you know, when I came here, because uh, Maridi was saying, Prabhu, what's going to happen, you know? Uh, why don't you check it out? Devotees are worrying. And then, so I came here. I was so shocked, you know, there is nice road coming here, and now cows walking around, and Radhanath Prabhu, I saw him, you know, doing some engagement, and Krishna Chandra is here. This is still very bare. He said, give me money, I'm going to decorate. He said, I don't have that much money, what will I do, you know? But somehow I opened my wallet, oh, there's still some, little bit. So I gave it to him, and he said, and then, uh, who's this? Uh, Indupati whispered. Get some plates, you know, get some plates. And I said, and then he said, Prabhu, bring us some plates. So I still have to bring some plates, and you know, then when uh, we were surprised that, that when we came back here, oh, it, everything is so beautiful. So I emailed uh, Gaurangi Didi, I said, you should come here, this is a very beautiful place, it's like India. You know, so somehow it's very nice, you know. So, so, Actually, we are so happy to see all the devotees who we miss so much. And me, myself, I'm so happy that when Gurudev uh, accepted me, even though I am so nonsense and foolish, number one, and uh, still, I even, in fact, uh, Ishwara Puri and I were talking in the uh, car a while ago. I said, I think Srila Gurudev is the best and the nicest person I ever had in my life. He's very lovable. You never sees any bad in you. In fact, uh, I wrote Srila Gurudev several times and he wrote me back saying, it's not wrong when you are feeling weak sometimes. Don't worry because I will always give you strength and I will give you, I will make you strong and I will give you strength. In fact, I always have that in my wallet. You know, the sayings from Srila Gurudev, he's the one that will make us strong and he will give us strength. And the Guru and Krishna is our only will. So, I really don't know what we have done. Filipinos, number one, we are very poor, Srila Gurudev. We cannot even you know, uh, afford very nice facilities. But somehow, Krishna is so kind that by the presence of Mother Shimati, uh, uh, Shimarani Didi, uh, Vashanti Didi, I don't know what they, what austerities we have done. Maybe we are the devotees from somewhere that we are put here in the Philippines and somehow these uh, nice devotees are coming here to bless us. So we want to thank you, Srila Gurudev. We never thought that you are going to be coming back again, but we are so fortunate, Prabhu, that all the devotees in other countries, they are spending so much money just to see Srila Gurudev. But since we are also poor, Guru, they decided, oh, I should go to the Philippines. Come on, this. Eto to mi piche basha. Krista Chaitanya. Well. Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm telling you, I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust to the lotus feet of my most worshipable Diksha Gurudev, Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnupad, Astotara Satashi Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shiksha Gurudev, Om Vishnupad, Astodara Satashri Srimad, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to all of our disciplic succession and all the assembled devotees. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words about the reason that he has come here. The reason that the pure devotee comes to this world is explained elaborately in many places in the scriptures. For example, it's stated, Bayam dvitiyam bini beshita syad 
ईश्वर पितस्य विपार्जयोष्मति तन्मायायतम बुद्धिराबजेतम बक्यायकजेसम गुरुदेवतात्मा forgetting that krishna is the one without a second absolute truth and having the conception of duality that there's something outside of krishna i have an existence outside of krishna we've chosen to come to this material world at which point we were grabbed by the illusory energy maya and given a gross body and a subtle body just like a jail the material energy is just like a shadow and whenever we face that material energy to try and enjoy the senses to try and enjoy our thinking power to try and enjoy false material relationships we grab onto a shadow which has no substance so the way out of that is to move forward towards devotional service to the supreme personality of godhead and then when one is moving forwards towards the light the shadow follows so all material facility everything follows a devotee who is facing krishna and going towards krishna consciousness how is that possible to go towards krishna consciousness but jayika jay sam gude deva tatvam tatma by taking shelter of krishna's bona fide representative krishna's manifestation Shrimati Radhika's manifestation, the manifestation of Akanda Tattva, Akanda Guru Tattva Nityananda Prabhu, that is Sri Guru, who is more intimate with us than our own Atma. Just as there is no separation between Krishna and the gopis, or Krishna and his pure devotees, and yet they are feeling separation. Similarly, there is never any separation between guru and his sincere disciple and yet we're feeling separation from him we want him to come in our heart and manifest fully so that we could become free from illusion so he's he's our very heart when he came in to this assembly today we thought oh our heart has Nursing come into the assembly Nursing. our soul has come into the assembly similarly it states in shastra nadehamadyam sulabham sudolabham plavam swakalpam guru kanadaram mayanakulyena nabaspataritam puman bavadim nataratsa atmaha it's very rare to get this human form of life the human life is just like a very very well constructed strong boat and the spiritual master is just like the captain to guide our boat across the ocean of material existence and the favorable winds are the instructions of krishna and his pure devotees in the scriptures and that those favorable winds carry us across the ocean anyone who does not take opportunity of this great facility he becomes a killer of his own soul that's how essential it is to take shelter of the bona fide spiritual master who's come as a manifestation or representative of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu who is krishna who came in the mood and complexion of shrimati radhika to give what no other incarnation gave since the previous day of brahma when lord chaitanya came and that is the very beautiful relationship as maid servant of shrimati radhika no other incarnation no other acharya has given this gift that chaitanya mahaprabhu came to give and he's giving it through his bona fide representative shila gurudev gaur premanandi why is something like that why is it so brief ज्ञानदीवृंदुर्मीलिता 
Patitanam Pavanepio Vaishnavepio Namo Namaha. First of all, I offer my humble obeisances unto the Lord's feet of my beloved Gurudev Om Vishnu Pare Paramahamsa Parivrak Acharya Ashtatatata Sri Simad Bhakti Vedanta Sri Narayim Goswami Maharaj. I also offer my humble obeisances unto all the spiritual masters in our disciplic succession coming from Sri Rupa Goswami. I offer my humble dandavat pranam unto all the, all the three dandis sannyasis present, unto the aunties present, disciples of Srila Prabhupada, uncles, all my brothers and sisters, and all guests who are present here. We are very, very fortunate to come here yeah, today. <coughs> we are suffering in this world trying to become happy for so many lifetimes, trying to avoid miseries and making so many plans to be happy, but we have not been successful. Yeah. Why? Because Krishna, yeah, for some reason or another, yeah, he has uh, made the arrangement yeah, that in this life, this human form of life, yeah, we will be extremely fortunate. Labdasu durlabam idam bahu sambhavante manushyam artadam apiya anichadira turnam yateta natatam anichujavat nishayasaya vishaya kalo sarvatashyat. This human form of life it is obtained after many, many, many different lifetimes spending in all the unlimited species of life that we see. Here in Philippines we can see so many species of fishes. Yeah. Isn't it? Beautiful fishes are here. When we go in the ocean we can see them in the coral reef. Also there are many animals yeah, cows, bulls, yeah, pigs, hawks, dogs, so many animal species are there, insects, mosquitoes, yeah. We have traveled, yeah, since time immemorial in these different species, always searching for happiness and trying to avoid misery, making any program to protect what we think is ours. Being in illusion for so many lifetimes, Krishna very kindly, He has given us this human form of life. In this human form of life, we can obtain perfection by the process of Sadhu Sangha. Even that we cannot understand what is Sadhu Sangha. But Krishna, being unlimitedly kind and merciful, he sends his pure devotees traveling all over the world to give Sadhu Sangha. We have no idea who we are, who is God. We hear about Krishna, Radha Krishna. We hear about Lalita Saki, Vishaka Saki. I don't know who is Lalita Saki or Vishaka Saki. I only know that in my life I have become fortunate because Gurudev has entered my life. Yeah. And he has kindly accepted the opportunity to render little service. So today and tomorrow while we are here, we should grasp this opportunity to render little service to Sri Guru. Yeah. That will make our life perfect. And the best service is to listen very attentively with our ears. Krishna has given this human form of life with very good ears. Yeah. With our eyes we see so many things, but we are always bewildered. But hearing through the ears from the pure devotee, the transcendental sound vibration coming directly from the spiritual transcendental realm, this will give us such a strong impression and inspiration that we will remain inspired and enthusiastic to practice the teachings of our spiritual master, of our Guru Parampara, of Srila Rupa Goswami, as we have heard from Srimati Shamarani Didi and 
also Tamo Prabhu explaining that if we follow the teachings of Sri Guru, yeah, our life will become perfect. Foremost teaching is that we are always trying to come together and discuss the glories of Sri Krishna. Sadhu Sangha, yeah, Prabhu was telling Yadana Prabhu, without Sadhu Sangha, we cannot make even one inch forward. We may be very proud thinking I'm so intellectual, intelligent, strong, healthy, I can manage myself. No, without Sadhu Sangha, without hearing Harikata, without service mood towards Vaishnavas, especially under the guidance of superior Vaishnava, the pure Vaishnava, Srila Gurudev, yeah, our life will become perfect very quickly. So, I'm requesting all of you to bless me that I will always be in Sadhu Sangha and have the opportunity to make little offering to my Gurudev so that he will be pleased upon me. And I pray and hope that all of you will get that opportunity to render little service every day and please Sri Guru and our life will be perfect. So for this reason, Srila Gurudev has come here to offer us opportunity to render service. Especially hearing his Harikata yeah, today and tomorrow, try to be very attentive hearing what Sri Guru is telling us and carry that with us in our heart and treasure that for the rest of our life. Yeah, even one eleventh of a second is enough to change our life completely. So we have now, today and tomorrow, more than so many one eleventh of a second to sit here and hear the Harikata from Srila Gurudev. Take advantage, treasure this in your heart and make your life perfect. Hare Krishna, Vancha Kalpatrupya Sakhi Krishna Veva Jatri Tanantava Nekyo Vaishna Veva Very good. Om Agyana Timirandhasa Gyananjana Salakaya Chakchurun Militangjena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpatarubhascha Kripa Sindhubhaye Vacha Patitanang Pavanibhu Gusnavibhu Namo Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, I pay my humble obeisances as Lord Aspita Vami Paramaratra Guru Pad Padma Om Vishnu Pad Ashtotar Sada Simad Bhukti Vedanda Slava Manvasai Maharaj and Om Vishnu Pad Paribra Jagacharya Varja Ashtodhar Sadasimad Bhakti Vedanta Sri Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I pay my all Vaishnava, I pay my obeisances, all Vaishnava and Vaishnavis, headed by Tridhani Sannasi and Samrani Didi. So, we have assembled here to listen some Harikatha from Lotus Leaf of Srila Gurudev. Other day Srila Gurudev was preaching in Philippines, and it's true, we want or not, one day we have to be old. In this world, there are so many doctors and scientists, they cannot check our old age for even a second. What to say about ourselves? Even doctor or scientist cannot check their old, old age. It is true. We may, they are, Tulsi Prabhu was telling we are very poor. Maybe poor, but must be broad minded. Poor is, poverty is not a problem, but must be broad minded to listen to Harikatha. So if you are broad-minded, then Bhagavan will bestow your mercy through Gurudev and Vaishnavas. So it is true that death is sure for everyone. <coughs> Bhagavan Krishna told to Arjuna for whole world, Jatasai dhruva mrittu dhruvang janma mrita sacha. Who has taken birth, they will die. Who has died, he will take birth again. So what is the goal of our life, we have to know. Not only human beings, the all, all the living entity is common to all, all living entity. Eating, sleeping, mating and defending. So what is the speciality of human beings? Only human beings can listen Harikatha and make his life successful. If we are not doing bhajan of Krishna, then we are as equal to an animal, 
two legged animal, no horn, no tail. This is the difference only. So if you want to make your su life successful, then please come in satsanga in Vaishnava Association and be initiated by Srila Bonafat Gurudev and do bhajan. To maintain your life, what you are doing, you can do some business or some job, no problem. But have to must have to do bhajan. What to say about human beings? Even when Srila Bhagavan incarnate in this world, like Mahajira Purushottam Lord, Ramchandra incarnate in this world, initiated by Vasishta Rishi. Lila Purushottam Sri Krishna in, incarnate in this world, initiated by Bhaguri Rishi. Prem Purushottam Sri, Chait Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu incarnate in this world, initiated by Ishwar Puripad. So they are setting example. They are saying Bhagavan, people are doing bhajan to them. They have no need. For the setting example of the world, they are said, surrendering themselves in the lotus feet of Bonafide Gurudev and doing bhajan. So if you want to make your life successful and if you want to peace and tranquility of mind, Sri Krishna told, Tat Prasadat Param Santi, if you want to be get peace and tranquility of mind, then must have to serve Krishna. And if you serve Krishna, what will happen? Jad Gattuvan Anivartanti Etat Dhamma Paramam Mama Going higher, you have to not return yet anymore in this world. We are traveling in this world, endless cycle of birth and death. It will be stopped and you will be ever in eternal in Krishna's abode and serve Him, never to come back. No disease, no old age, always new youth will be the youth form will be there. So, Gurudev came Philippines to give this message to you all. So, my dear son and daughters, who has not doing start bhajan yet, please start your bhajan and make your life successful and be combined together time to time <coughs> and discuss Hari Gata, which you are listening from Srila Gurudev. You can get his lecture from internet and so many books. You can see the book table also here. By this you can associate each other and make your life, life your successful. Hare Krishna. Gurave Gaura Chandra Radhika Yai Tadale Krishna Ya Krishna Bhakta Tadabhakta Yanamo Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivami Tayavi Iti Big Radhe Tang Naima Macharananti Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivami Tayavi Iti Big my legs and legs don't do pranam in the lotus feet of my spiritual heart. Nitya Leela Praveshtam Vishnu Bhat Astotar Shishmat Bhakti Prakyan Kesavu Swami And my Siksha Guru Shri Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. From long time I was thinking to come in Philippines. But Tamopaha Prabhu helped me and forcibly he dragged, dragged me here. <laughs> As Radhanath Prabhu told, he is telling. Right. Jadunath Prabhu. Jadunath Prabhu. So, <coughs> like our Guru Parampara, Acharya, from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as he traveled whole India by foot, 
एंड स्वामी जी भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज ट्रेवल्ड होल वर्ल्ड Perhaps he has come or not here. He has come here in Philippines. Yeah. Yes. Where? Cebu. Uh, no, Manila. 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 <coughs> And preaching the mission of Sri Caitanya Mahaprabhu to chant and remember Krishna as supreme personality of Godhead. One thing you should. Give me one thing, because you are very poor. Give your heart and ears, yes. and you should hear patiently. And what you you are hearing, you should follow. You should know that very soon old is is coming. Even small children, they will be old. Any scientist and doctor and whole world's combination of doctors and scientists cannot shake your old age. Perhaps you know. And one day you'll have to quit this body. It is also true. Anyone can have a fire. Maybe hundred years, hundred twenty-five years, not more than that. So we should know that we are not this physical physical body, physical body. Hmm? You are part and parcel of Supreme Lord Krishna. But for getting him, Maya thrown you out in this world, material world, and you forgotten, you forget that who am I? Really, you are not this body, Radha Nath or what name? You are not that. You should know. And you should know that when your death will come, your father, mother, son, daughter, your wealth, your dog, or anything, you cannot take with you. Anyone cannot help. Whether you are million or billionaire. Uh, billionaire, millionaire, uh, zillionaire, yeah. but not a single farthing will go with you. You will have to go alone. This body, these hairs, you cannot take. Then fight like a donkey. You are uh, day and night. So like a donkey, you are so much engaged. Uh, engaged. Engaged. Engaged in this worldly life. <laughs> By this, anyone in this world never can be happy. They are searching happiness from millions and millions of births, but we are not happy. Money cannot give you happiness. Then whole America will uh, uh, buy all the happiness, and anyone cannot have anything. So by money happiness cannot come, by wealth or by beauty or by any qualification. Only by chanting the name of Supreme Lord, by remembering Him, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Arjanam, Bandanam, Dasakhat, Manivedanam. Only by this, Hari Bhajan is not so difficult. Difficult. Very easy. Very easy, you know. Muslims about twenty times or thirty times or hundred times they namaz namaz doing. Oh, you can only tell 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण टेल्स दो कॉल मी बाय दिस नेम्स आई विल एट वंस लिबरेट देम एंड आई विल गिव माय हर सेवा माय सर्विस ट्रांसडेंटल सर्विस एंड देन यू विल बी हैप्पी only by chanting name practicing hari name remembering krishna you can be happy in future <coughs> without this you cannot be happy this is guarantee we should know <coughs> that about 5000 years before in india all the saintly persons gathered there and they were discussing now kali yuga iron age is coming very soon and all will be disturbed <coughs> life will be very short in golden age age about 1 lakhs years treta yug some less dapar yug more less and kal yug 100 years in 100 years from birth up to 20 years goes in learning anything and be qualified to earn money school college here there it goes in vain from 80 to 100 you will be too old nothing to do you cannot do anything you cannot sit straight also how bhajan and then in 100 years 50 years goes in sleeping all together 10 years remaining and then marriage marrying supporting sons and daughters and family making very high class of house house equipped it all material like a palace no, like a palace like parbingham palace parbingham uh, buckingham and buckingham so 10 years goes in this when you will do bhajan so from now just now labha sudurlabham idam bahu sambhavante manushyam arthadam nityam api adhira turnam jate tana patet anumit yavat nishay sahayak bisah khalva sarvata oh life is short very short but only in hinwal life you can chant and remember and such krishna you can so before death you so try to make your uh, life perfect life successful that's the self how it will be so they were discussing all these things in kaliyug mand bhagya mand mand sumata yo prayan all pai so sarp kala basmin jo mand sumand mata mand sumand mata yo mand bhagya hi upadrata o mand bhagya in kaliyug bhagya means fortunate you are unfortunate always thinking happiness not मध्य भाग्य उपद्रुत देर आर सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम डिजीजेस सो दे आर टेलिंग टू सुत गोस्वामी सोना कान ऑल ऋषिस ओ सुत गोस्वामी वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम सिल सुखदेव गोस्वामी यू नो ऑल द परपर्ट ऑफ ऑल वेद उपनिषद शास्त्र You are perfect in all these things. 
So you should tell how our Atma will be happiness. How we will be happy? No. He knows that we are not this body. We are transcendental service of part and parcel of Krishna, his servant. But unfortunately we have forgotten and we have come here. So now the Hatma Buddhi has come in this material body. I am here. This mood comes. Understand what I am telling? False ego. False ego. That I am this body. And we do everything for this maintaining this body to make happy. Make happy. But we don't be not successful. Never and never. So you should tell how our soul will be successful. Soul will be happy. happy. Then Sutta Goswami became very happy and told. Shabai Pansang Paro Dharmo Jato Bhakti Radhokkhaje Ahetu Kabdavahitaja Bhakti Purushottame. He told Shabai Pansang Paro Dharmo Parama Dharma, transcendental religion of all the Jeev to do Bhakti of Supreme Lord. And who is Supreme Lord? Ete chans kala punsa krishna There are no two, three, four, five gods. Only one is there. And the Supreme Lord is Krishna. Ramchandra, Bhavdha, Jesus Christ and others, all are in Him. So he knows all our languages. Even he can know your heart, past, future, everything. He is perfect in all. So <coughs> bhakti without any reason, continuously to please Krishna should be done. So the Rupa Goswami has told, Anna bhila sita sunyam, gyan karma dhyana abritam, anukullene krishna ansuilanam, bhakti ruttama, explain. Hear patiently and try to follow. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to explain the very beautiful verse by Srila Rupa Goswami, the direct disciple of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the uh, supervisor of the whole Krishna consciousness movement. All of our bona fide spiritual masters are coming in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami. Previous to him, there were many verses explaining the definition of pure bhakti, pure devotion to Krishna. But Srila Rupa Goswami's is the most complete. He has written, Anya bilasita sunyam jnana karmadhyana vritam anakulyena krishna nusilanam bhakti rutamam He has given the de definition of uttama bhakti or the topmost pure devotion to the Supreme Lord, which is the constitutional nature, the intrinsic nature of the soul itself. We were created by God for this purpose. So there's the uh, marginal characteristic of this definition of bhakti and the internal or intrinsic natural characteristic of bhakti. Anya bilasita sunyam. No. First anukulyena. Anukulyena. First the natural intrinsic characteristic of bhakti. That which bhakti is composed of. Anukulyena krishna anusilanam 
Bhaktir Uttamam, Anu Silanam. Silanam means endeavor, and Anu means continuous. The endeavors performed by the body, mind, and words, and spiritual sentiments of the heart that are flowing without any interruption, just like the flow of honey from a jar. Un uninterrupted flow of the engagement of our senses, mind, intelligence in the service of the Lord. Anu also means under the guidance. Not independent, not by my own whim, but under the guidance of disciplic succession with the immediate representative of the disciplic succession being the bona fide guru. There are two Krishnas actually. There is Krishna the Supreme Personality of served Godhead and there is Krishna the Supreme Personality of Servitor Godhead. Or there is the Vishaya, Enjoyer Krishna, and the Ashraya, or the Enjoyed, or the Reservoir of Service, who is a manifestation of Krishna. So when Srila Rupa Goswami writes, Krishna Anusilanam, he means, number one, continuous service to Sri Krishna, or continuous service to Krishna through his bona fide representative, the spiritual master, and under guidance, having heard from him and taken direction in the heart. Regarding taking direction, there's a very interesting story that one king had nine jewels of counselors, and a very strange looking person without any clothes carrying a skull under his arm came into the king's council and said, put the, count, the skull on the table and said, was this person who lived in before, who had this skull, was he intelligent or foolish? So the counselor said, how can we know if he was intelligent or foolish just by looking at the skull? So the strange looking person said, I know that this council is very, very unintelligent, I'm leaving. So the king said, wait a minute, my main, most intelligent counselor, Kalidas, is coming. Just one moment. So Kalidas came and he stuck a straw through the hole of the ear of the skull and it came out the other end. So he said, this person is foolish. How do you know? Because if he was intelligent, it wouldn't have gone in one ear and out the other. That straw would have gone in the ear and down the neck to the direction of the heart. So hearing from the bona fide spiritual master, the principle of the reservoir of service to Krishna and taking whatever he says in the heart and then serving under his direction, this is Krishna Anu Silanam. So Silanam means endeavor. There's two kinds of endeavor. That is positive and negative the endeavor to do the right things and the endeavor to avoid doing the wrong things. I will only take Krishna Prashadam. I will never take meat, fish, eggs, onion, garlic, carrots. I'll never eat in karmi restaurants. I'll only take the food that's offered to Krishna. So there is a positive endeavor and the endeavor to avoid things that are obstacles in my devotional service. And Anukulyena, always favorable for Krishna. Srila Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur, in explaining this verse, said that Mother Yasoda, the very, very fortunate Mother of God, who breathes in and out innumerable universes, has accepted this great devotee as his mother. Sometimes, when that Supreme Godhead, in his human-like pastimes, acts as a naughty boy and steals butter from the neighbor's houses, she chastises him and sometimes she binds him with rope. So is this considered bhakti or not? Bhakti is understood by the mood of the activity. So Mother Yasoda is thinking, if I don't train my child properly, if I don't chastise him, then he won't grow up to be of good character. 
So for his welfare, for his ultimate happiness, Mother Yasoda chastised him. So uh, th this is considered the highest bhakti. The gopis, sometimes when Krishna comes, oh, I see you are carrying many heavy pots. May I help you? No, no, we're chaste wives. You're a debauchee. We don't want to speak to you. So this negligence of Krishna's plea, this is the highest bhakti because it gives Krishna, it's for the intention of giving Krishna pleasure. On the other hand, Kamsa's servants, Kamsa's wrestlers, Chana and Mustik, they were wrestling with Krishna. That gave him pleasure, although Mother Yasoda made him cry her, because she was chastising him. Her intention, her mood, was to give him the highest pleasure by being a good boy and being able to function well in society. Whereas the, wrestler, the wrestlers, although they gave him immediate pleasure, their intention was not to give him pleasure. Their intention was to kill him by the wrestling. So their mood was not bhakti. Bhakti is a mood of the heart. So we can understand that it is the mind's desire. So this is the positive or natural feature of bhakti when the desire is only for the pleasure of Krishna, only to give him joy, only for his welfare, for his benefit. So this is the natural characteristic of bhakti. And then, and devoid of all unfavorable elements. And then the marginal characteristic, that which bhakti is devoid of, that is, anyavi lasita sunyam, all desires other than the desire to please Krishna is made void. Not to please my senses. Well, I'm not going to come and hear Guru tonight because I have so many debts. I have to go to work. Actually, we have no other debt. This is the definition of shraddha or faith. That is, by watering the root of the tree, all the leaves and branches are automatically watered. By feeding the stomach, all the senses are automatically nourished. So by hearing the Harikata of Guru, by getting Sadhu Sangha, by serving Guru, all my other debts, all my other obligations are taken care of. Not that I have to please somebody else. I, have, I owe somebody something else. I only owe Krishna because He created me. Just my, my hand only owes to the whole body. So similarly, our only debt, our only obligation, our only duty is to serve Krishna through his bona fide representative, Sri Guru. So, anyabilasita sunyam gyan, no mental speculation. Maybe God is impersonal, maybe I'm God, maybe the goal of life is to merge with God. And no reward-seeking desires. I'll do this so that I can enjoy. I'll do this so that I can get money. What is the use of money? Money is the cause of distress in all circumstances. I work hard to please my family, and then my family's not pleased. My wife leaves me. I grow up. I grow old. I can't work. Nobody's satisfied with me anymore. They throw me in an old age home and neglect me. So money is the cause of distress. Any attempt at happiness we find in the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam is actually the source of distress. Men and women come together for a union to become happy, and they end up causing each other distress. So when activities are completely devoid of reward-seeking act activities and the uh, desire to merge into the existence of some concocted and personal God, when it's free from all desire than to serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead with my senses, mind, intelligence, for the purpose of tasting true love, this is the definition of pure bhakti or devotion to the Supreme Lord. Can you tell the purport what she told? Can you? It's for a Puri. It's for a Puri Can you explain what Shamarani Didi just explained? The essence? You cannot tell? Have you understood? 
you should all try to whatever you do to please Krishna by your all senses. This is the purport. So whatever you do, always do think that it is for Gurudev or for Krishna Himself. Always. No other ambition other than Krishna should be happy. How Krishna will be serving? Happy? Oh, by chanting His rem- remembering Him, Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Sar, and especially one Hari Nam Sankirtan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has to. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Aivake Valam, Kalau Nasteva, Nasteva, Nasteva Katira. No other. Only Hari name and Hari name and Hari name. Name is very powerful. Krishna has given all his power. What power? In a second he can contr- create millions of worlds and demolish all. He is very merciful. Cause merciful. He is very powerful. All his qualities he has invested in these names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. So they are now equal to Krishna himself. They can, these names can be stored their mercy that in a second you can be liberated. You will be happy. Name can check up your worldly situation. So, you should have very strong faith on name. Nashta prayesu abhadreshu nityam bhagavat sevaya bhagavati uttam shloke in this way, we are full of anartha. We should go to Gurudev, take initiation and dikha, and serve him. Be shambhain guru seva. Be shambhain means? To serve with, with intimacy. With minus. With minus. Yes. Gurudev. And then he will teach you bhakti ang, limbs, limbs of bhakti. How to sravadam, how to kirtanam, how to all these things. And then by that you should begin. Ado sraddha tato sadhu sangha ata bhajana kriya. Tato anartha nibhati shat, tato nishtha nishtha ruchi tatha, tato athasakti tato bhava udanjati sadakanam ayang premna pradur bhavo bhavet kama. This is sequence, sequence, sequence of bhakti. Adu shraddha. First, you don't know who is sadhu, who is all these things, who is Krishna, who am I? Anyhow, by chance, Krishna arranged out of mercy, causeless mercy, and He sent any sadhu by chance, only by the mercy of Krishna you can. And He tells you, you are not body. <laughs> you are part parcel of Krishna. You have forgotten Krishna. You have taken Lakhs and lakhs births before, and you will take. You were hogs, pigs, dogs, cats, monkey, donkey, monkey, donkey, so Pi- many things. Fishes. But never you can happy. Again, if you will not chant and remember Krishna, 
then you will have to be again dog, pigs, hogs, like fishes and all will cut you and take, eat you. So don't waste your time. So, <coughs> so um, Sutta Goswami is telling, um, always chant name and remember Hear Hari Katha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shriti Lo Matre, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shriti Hai. Satang Prasangam Mama Virja Sambhido, Bhavanterita Karana Rasayana Katha, Tadjo Sanatayasu Apaparga Bhartmani, Sadharati Bhakti Anukamishyati, Satang prasangam om virja sambhado. In sadhu sangha, sadhu, each other, discussing always, very powerful, hari katha, very powerful. If it will go in your ears, then you will give up your house, your wife, your children's wealth and everything, and you will be a state bigger of Vrindavan, Radhe Radhe, Krishna Krishna Vandi. And weeping, and your family will weep there, and you will weep, O oh Krishna, O Krishna, O oh Krishna, oh Krishna, oh Radhe. Very soon it will happen. And if then your life is successful. I have come to inspire you all. Don't be engaged in worldly life. Anyhow maintain your life, whether poor or rich or anywhere. Krishna has arranged, oh, shark, mool, fall, vegetable, spinach, rice, root, spinach, without pious water, Everything he has there, fruits, coconut, so much coconut, coconut, Bhutan, in coconut two things, water also and bread also, oh. <laughs> and big big, by one coconut you, and Gurudev, katal, katal, jackfruit, <laughs> jackfruit, nanka, <laughs> so why to eat meat, eggs, wine and all these things? When gurus tell to you, then he tells that you should tell to others, go. Jare dekho tare kaha, Krishna Upadesh Amar Agyaya Guru. I'm telling you, and now you should go to your villages, your city, your places, and tell others that try to be happy. Chant Krishna. You should know that who are you. So you should go and tell, and I I may come, and I want to see at least two hundred devotees here. Yeah. Tomorrow will come. Here now, seventy to eighty. Hmm. Seventy to eighty. But I want to see two hundred. So, Tamopaha Prabhu, Radhanath and Radhesh. Radhesh all will help you. Prabhu will help. Yadunath Prabhu. <laughs> Yadunath Prabhu and all others. So, so, uh, Sutta Goswami is telling all these things. So we should remember, especially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came about five, five years ago in India and he did himself Sanketan. He was Himself, he Krishna, taking the beauty and intensive mode of Radhika, and he traveled everywhere and told, chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, and be happy forever. Gaur Pramanande. Hare Hare Bo. Tomorrow also? Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow 200 devotees.